and get it out. The, the most difficult bit is getting out the packaging. Oh, and then this ring at the top yeah. seems to be the one that fits on there. Like that. Oh, okay. Just screw literally screw it on, on. like that. Mm -hmm. We'll be wanting that again in a minute. And then this is your red box. But by the science of things, they're not going to make any more off. No. <clears throat> What numbers does it go on? It's, so? it's, it's three, four, five, and then high. Oh, okay. And if you listen, he's actually moving up to the highest setting. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Do you want it on the highest setting when you fit it on? Because um, obviously this bit needs to be accommodated in the body. So we just wait for him to stop moving. Oh, I see, right. It's, there must be like a little motor in here, mm. an electrical motor that pushes this plunger yeah. in there up and down. Like that. Um, wait for it to stop. It's still making noise in the house. Right, are you finished? Mm hmm. <laughs> and that bit. What you have got to be careful of is obviously that you've got a plastic threaded bit going onto a metal thread. So if you cross thread it, yeah, it will give you some grief. Okay. Does it when it's on or something? Mm. It's definitely working though because it's flashing. It's flashing. Yeah. yeah. It's doing whatever it does. So all it does is that plunger presses down the the valve, yeah, exactly. and then that opens it up. Yeah. So yes, yeah. more more hot yeah. water in. Yeah. 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 And the temperature is dependent on how much water is allowed into the radiator. That's right. Yeah. yeah. So. So the mistake a lot of people make, or is they, they set their radiator valves up, mm. the room gets up to that temperature, the radiator goes off, mm. and they think there's a fault. But in actual fact, that valve is doing exactly what it should do. It's, it's shutting it down to save you money.